Getting the crystal line from the well. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, you're welcome once again to Sir Majesty Easy World Science Channel. So, today I will handle uh, uh, one of the recreational drugs uh, and also a psychoactive drug. This is for educational purposes. I will tell you the implications and uh, even the chemistry behind this particular drug known as methamphetamine. Methamphetamine, by alpac name is called uh, actually alpac name should be N methyl one phenyl propan uh, two amine. Uh, so it can be gotten from uh, by the synthesis in chemistry you can get it from uh, uh, phenyl uh, acetone. Uh, so though the process of the synthesis will not be discussed here, rather I will discuss the particular methamphetamine, the appearance and uh, the effects and the implications, the health implications uh, of abusing it and also give you a little tip on how to control who has been addicted to this methamphetamine, commonly called met, um, uh, uh, met crystals or here in our own locality in Nigeria, in Ebola, they call it Mbulu uh, meaning, meaning uh, because of the icy appearance. So it's a white crystallized something, that's why it is commonly called uh, uh, met crystal. So this is kind of what it looks like. Okay. It looks like a, a crystal like this. So this is, this is not a, actually the thing. I hope the camera can get it well. Uh, so it looks more like this. These are crystals looking like an ice block. So but this is just a mimic. This is actually a sodium thiosulfate, a crystal form of sodium thiosulfate. So don't get it twisted, but it's just here to demonstrate what methamphetamine looks like. So the methamphetamine is actually a, a, a recreational drug discovered in 1893, but uh, it is not uh, advisable to be used. Though it has therapeutic values such as uh, it can be used to treat obesity and also to treat uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and uh, I think uh, it is. It also, uh, it is also, yeah, these are the common things it's used for actually, but it is not prescribed because of the side effects. And the people use it as recreational drugs, but as a recreational drug, it produces some side effects and addictive property, uh, such as neurotoxicity. The methamphetamine can uh, alter, can uh, lead to the accumulation of substances that will alter the normal functioning of your brain. And you know, uh, when the brain function is affected, you are indirectly creating an insanity that is getting to madness. Then, apart from neurotoxicity, it can also be is a stimulant, of course. The methamphetamine is a, 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 stim, is a potent stimulant, is a strong stimulant of central nervous system, meaning, remember, the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, so it alters the function of this particular part of your body, which means, and this is what controls the entire activities. So if that part is affected, it means your actions will be affected. So as a stimulant, some people use it as a recreational drug. And remember, it's a psychoactive drug, meaning it has the ability to affect your cognition, your behavior, your conscience, the way you utter things. So that is why people take it as a drug to change their mood, to change their consciousness and become unnecessarily happy. So the effects of this methamphetamine, which is not good, are... Number one, I told you that uh, uh, actually they have, uh, they have the stimulating ability and they can cause neurotoxicity that affects the, they might cause accumulation of chemicals that will alter the normal function of the neurons in the brain and hence the neurotoxicity. Then it also causes, uh, it has Afro, uh, aphrodisiac uh, effect, there's aphrodisiac effect of course, meaning aphrodisiac effect means it arouses sexual desire. Yes, of course, just like cocaine and alcohol, but these ones are natural aphrodisiac drug. Uh, Excitase is also another form of this, uh, it's a related drug to this uh, methamphetamine. It, there is a, a drug called excitase. It also has the ability to arouse sexual desire. So then also it is a euphorant. So another related uh, drug, like I said, to methamphetamine is uh, uh, what we call, uh, you, you call it uh, 
methylene dio uh, methylene dioxy methamphetamine yes of course me uh, two four yes by the IOPAC name it should be called two four methylene dioxy methamphetamine even amphetamine is also there so uh, this particular drug when used as a recreational drug will produce unnecessary side effects like i told you neurotoxicity one that aphrodisiac effect sexual arousal there is a euphoria producing excessive fake happiness someone being uh, excessively happy deep sense of joy and happiness without any reason how does he do this because this particular methamphetamine affects the, 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 the brain reward system and it has a reinforcing properties and that is why it is addictive. The euphoric aspect, the euphoric aspect of this particular drug is what makes it addictive. So that when you take it, it will stimulate the brain reward system. There's a part of your brain that is there. There are many structures there that is creates this craving, this desire to get paid off of something. So when you get this unnecessary joy, you would like to go back and get more. And it become, you become an addict of it such that you can't control yourself again. So you should avoid methamphetamine because of this euphoric effect and aphrodisiac effect, which means you might be rendered potentially a rapist. So it will arouse your sexual desire and these things are not okay. Then. You should also know that since the reward, the brain reward system is affected, it will keep dragging you that you can even spend your last couple, the last uh, uh, naira in you or the last dollar you have just to get this drug. So because of this side effects and uh, because of this problem, that's why it is rarely prescribed to treat obesity and uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So it's not used because there is another substitute that can be used to handle this. When we say attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, it happens in individuals that, that lack the ability to pay attention to do something where they have impulsivity, that is taking actions without thinking about the implications of these actions. So, but there are other substitute drugs that is better than methamphetamine. That is why it is worth avoiding. Then, remember as a recreational drug is a stimulant, Remember, recreational drugs are divided, can be grouped into three stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. So this one falls under stimulants. That gives you, stimulants are those groups of psychoactive drugs that gives you excessive energy and alertness. You feel like doing anything, whatever you see, some of them, they act as if they have gotten excessive powers. So stimulants like cocaine, they are also giving you similar effect. Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm Jennifer. Guess, Guess what? what? There's a channel called Sam Majesty Easy World Science. And you know the best part? Mm -hmm. It makes science so easy. Wow. It makes science easy, simplified, and very, very fun. Guess what? Rocky Science ain't Rocky Science anymore. It's now ABC. Like if you did science in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about Sam Majesty Easy World Science channel is that he makes available laboratory equipment and reagents. Guess the best part, if chemistry has been hard for you, he does tutorials. And another thing is, when you order for these things, they are high quality and they are also cheap and affordable for anybody. If you want to order, just look at number on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification button down below. Don't forget to share, of course, obviously there's love in sharing. Thank, Thank you. you, we'll see you there. <laughs> To avoid this particular methamphetamine because it is not good for your health. Because when you get addicted to it, because of the euphoric effect, it's a euphoria, it creates euphoria, happiness without reason. Imagine you being happy without reason, it means nearness to madness. So avoid it. Then, if you are an addict to this already, normally there should be a kind of counseling using the, 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 the 12 program or the 12 step uh, program of the 12 step uh, fellowship that is a way they use the counseling the people that are good in that it's okay to help you but most importantly you need to be treated in isolated residential area that is you don't need to be uh, you don't need to be given the freedom to go around you should be your movement should be restricted such that you cannot go out to take that drug when the graving comes pressing on you so you should be given isolated attention where the gates are heavily locked which means your freedom have to be limited because if you have access 
to a beast. It means your brain reward system will take over. You can't control yourself again, even when you say, I can't take it again. But when that grieving comes, you see yourself breaking even through the gates to go and get it. So first is treatment under a restricted uh, uh, environment where your movements are restricted, such that you cannot have access to the methamphetamine when the desire comes. Then you need to you need to crash to sleep more in, in a period of what we call uh, stabilization. Such person have to take more rest frequently, taking more food so that they can recover well. Then particularly the counseling and other things. Then there are physical ways of handling it, engaging you in sports, in programs and games that will help you forget about these things, but it's going to take more energy to stop it than the energy it took you in starting it. So why not avoid this methamphetamine? So now the chemistry of it, like I told you actually, that it is the IOPAC name, and I'll give you the IOPAC name and the structure. The, the IOPAC name should be uh, N-methyl, 1-phenyl, propan 2 amine. So structurally, if you see it this way, when we say the main chain there should contain <coughs> three carbons, whereby a benzene ring will be attached at the end. Remember, a benzene ring is a hexagon. So in this case, this is it. This is carbon one, two. So here there should be, and let's take it this way also, anywhere we like, there should be CH3. So this is carbon one, two. So at this particular carbon, there should be an amino group added, and that amino group is also attached to a, a material. And hence the name, if you count the main chains here, so to make it clearer for you, the chemistry of it is what I'm analyzing. So by IOPAC, remember that when benzene occurs as a substance group, it is called phenyl. So and phenyl have the formula of C6, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then H5 instead of H6 because the hydrogen here has been used to bond to the next carbon here. So this is phenyl. This particular substance group is phenyl. And here is carbon 1, then carbon 2, and carbon 3, finally. So this is the main chain, which means if you like, if you want to understand it well, you can draw it in this way. Whereby here is now where the NH is attached with another carbon attached to it, the methylene group. Remember this is plus 3. Nitrogen here can only be plus 3. And this carbon now attached to a benzene ring. Two. So that's it. Then here at the same carbon, this is the CH3. So this is the structural formula for methamphetamine, alternating double bond and a single bond. So by so doing, you see that the synthesis must start with benzene. So for you to get this, you must start the synthesis with benzene because it contains benzene, just like most of other drugs contains it. So stay subscribed for you to see how I will synthesize benzene. In the process, I will convert benzene to any other uh, drugs. But remember that methamphetamine is artificial, it's not naturally occurring. Uh, other aphrodisiacs, that is other things that are loose sex and other stimulants such as cocaine, alcohol, they, uh, they are all naturally occurring. But this one is artificial. So it means it is synthesized by a human being and the appearance I'm showing you again is a crystalline, a white crystalline thing, looking like an ice. It has this ice look. This is not the exact thing, of course. So this is not the exact thing, actually, but it mimics it. That's how it looks like, like an ice. So uh, you should avoid taking methamphetamine. So thank you for watching. This is Her Majesty Easy World Science Channel. Please share this video to save the life of our youth and any other person that is also an addict to this. You that is watching, never you test it for the first time. The euphoria effect to keep driving you, to keep on coming, you lose yourself to this drug. And remember, hence is a stimulant, it can give you the sense of fake energy and alertness. You can do, you can commit any crime, get yourself into trouble. So it's not a nice thing for being an addict of this method. Me. But if you are an addict already, you follow the little guidance I told you, you must be treated under a restricted environment where you cannot access this drug. It's going to take you longer time to withdraw from it.
there will be side effects of course we also need antidepressants because of the withdrawal there are other withdrawal symptoms that follows so the first thing you have to do and the best thing for you is never to test it for the first time euphoria is what they want is for your first test so the joy they will give you will keep driving you to come back again because of the fact that they affect your brain reward system the easy world science channel is here for your health your good health and your well-being is one of the topmost priority of Sir Majesty's World Science Channel. So, thank you. Share my videos. Like and comment. Much love from me to you. Remember, Majesty, say no to drug abuse. Hi, my name is Chemeke Arize. I'm a third year medical student and I am here to tell you to subscribe to Sir Majesty Easy World or Science. It's fun.